Arches are among the strongest and oldest structures designed by humans. This Roman aqueduct, located in France, is supported by arches. It is over 2,000 years old. The strength of an arch is easily demonstrated with some stiff card. A model bridge, constructed like this, is not capable of supporting a wooden block. But if we create an arch with the card and support it at its ends, we now have a structure that will easily support the block. The secret to the strength of an arched structure lies in how it transfers force. The force from a load is transferred down the arch to the base. There are two components to the force. One force is vertical, pushing down on the base. The other force is horizontal, pushing to the side. Engineers call the structure that resists the horizontal force a buttress. These are the buttresses supporting our card arch. This arched bridge has a massive buttress at each end, constructed of stone. It is possible to use multiple arches in a structure. This card model of a multi-arch bridge uses two arches. You could easily expand the model to any length. The Romans created beautiful multi-arch structures, many designed to carry water, aqueducts. Arches are not limited to bridges. Many of the world's great temples, museums, and libraries use the arch and buttress to support spectacular vaulted ceilings, creating dramatic open spaces. Designing arched systems like these requires sophisticated knowledge of the forces acting on the structure. Architects and engineers call these forces compression, and tension. We know a force is a push or a pull. Compression and tension are the push and pull that give structures, like bridges, their strength. Let's discuss these terms by looking at another way to construct the arch. Removing the buttresses and attaching a strong rope across the base of our arch is another way of stopping the horizontal force from spreading the arch. Analyzing the forces involved, and we still have a vertical force pushing down on the base. This is compression. A force that pushes on a structure creates compression. The horizontal force pulls on the rope. The rope is being stretched. When a force pulls on a structure, it creates tension. We can modify our model arch to work like this by connecting the base with two pieces of masking tape. The arch is still capable of supporting the block. The tension in the masking tape stops the arch from spreading. The sophisticated structures seen here are modern bridges designed to span huge distances and carry massive loads. Knowledge of compression and tension makes structures like these possible. The next video in this series takes a look at another structure that uses compression and tension, the geodesic dome.